Welcome to Awakening the Life Within You. My name is GK Kamau and I'm a relationship coach. And today we are learning about mental health and mental well-being. And that's why we're in this particular room. And that's why this bed is full of clothes. <laughs> so I think I've done like two or three sets of laundry without organizing them so that I could do this video for you. The first pile that you can see is a pile of trousers and sweatpants and khaki pants all together in one pile. I think the second pile that you can see over there is the pile of t-shirts, shirts, polo shirts and tops and all kinds of things. So top wear. And at the far end there, you can see that big hip pile at the corner over there. Those are jackets, blazers, coats, all types of jackets and sweaters. We have a dress over there, one in particular. But on this particular end over here where you can see that green part, we have a few things that are organized over there, but they are not neatly organized, but they are technically they are organized. Now, I want to talk about these piles of clothes and I want you to work with me this journey because today we are learning about mental health and mental well-being in a practical way. So, in life you go through difficult situations. Let's say this pile of sweatpants and jeans and khaki pants is your financial situation you have debt you have credit and you have of course the savings that you have but together when they are like this you can't seem to keep your hand on what is what and what is where the second pile let's say we are talking about your marriage your relationship you have your children you have your spouse you have your things that contain marriage things that contain being in a in a family for example, housing, renting, all those things fall under the second pile. They may not seem like it's a lot, but it's quite a pile because it has a lot. It has blouses, it has shirts, it has polo shirts, it has foldables and foldables and hangables. So there it is. And on the last pile over there, we have the extended family where we are looking at uncles and aunties and cousins and nieces and nephews who need our attention equally as to the nuclear family right here. And we have a few things over here where they can see the red dress. There are a few things over there that look like they're a bit organized, like they're put together. Like, for example, you took your car to the car wash, it's clean, it looks good. Your house has been washed, it's clean, it looks good. Everything is organized, everything is put in its place. The thing about mental well-being and mental health, especially when we are in the kind of a crisis that we are in right now, where there is a lot of economical challenge worldwide, not just here in Africa, not just here in Kenya. Worldwide, it's a global thing. People are, you don't know what you're struggling with in particular. Now, I'm going to, again, organize these things into another group. So with me here, I've done my second set of organizing. And from a layman's point of view, if you look at it, it looks more cluttered, right? The bed looks more fuller. It looks like it has more things. But the truth of the matter is I've put things more in order. That if you walked into this room, you'd be able to know you can see at the far end near the curtain, those are the ponchos. You can see the jackets here. You can see the hoods over there, which you couldn't see before. I found another dress somewhere within the jackets that wasn't supposed to be among the jackets. You can see the onesies where they are now. You can see the t-shirts, the foldable ones. You can see the shirts. You can see the tops. And I've actually organized them and put them in piles. Now you can see the jeans and the khaki pants where they are. And you can also see where the sweatpants are and the shorts are. Again, I still have the organized pile at this far end corner right there. It looks like it's organized, but it's not really organized. And right there where the bed sheets are and the pillowcases are, it looks a bit organized, but it's not organized. Now, when it comes to mental health and mental well-being, there are stages into which that you're able to achieve mental health and mental well-being. The first stage is to declutter the big clutter get the big clutter and declutter it which was you saw the trousers and the and the sweatpants were together the uh the hangables and the foldables t-shirts and tops were together in one place all the jackets and the hoods were together in one place now this is the second stage of mental health separating and identifying issues and matters that are affecting you one way or another when you do this second stage of separating and putting things separately, you're able to know which issue are you dealing with. You are able to identify what is troubling you, what is giving you a headache, and then you are able to deal with one item at a time. For example, maybe I'll start with the sweatpants. I'll fold them, put them aside with their sizes because I'm a bit OCD. Then I'll do the jeans 
then I'll go to hanging. So in the process, this is something that I can do during the week. I can just decide to take maybe, let's say today's on when, today's on Tuesday, I can decide to just fold the sweatpants only and go off to work. And it becomes very easy. Fold them and put them away. I've dealt with the situation. I have moved on. I won't go back to it. Then tomorrow, maybe Wednesday, I can decide to deal with the trousers. Or even right now, if I had a whole day, I can sit and deal with each and everything at once. Right? Deal with each and everything at once. So I, it becomes very easy. You take the ones that are needs to be folded, the set pants, you fold them, put them away. The trousers, you fold them, put them away. They hang what needs to be hung, fold the t-shirts that needs to be fold, put away the onesies. One item at a time. When you try to deal with things together as one, you really don't even know what's affecting you, what's hurting you, what are you struggling with, what's really a problem. Because you're trying to deal with everything at once. But if you deal with a thing at one, if you deal with one item, you are able to identify where the challenge is and you begin to experience mental health. So here we are almost at the end of this video about organizing and mental health and the importance of putting things in order. With me here, I have a different kind of a pile. I have a more organized pile and I've put them into categories depending on how I'm going to organize them finally and put them away. So what we are learning mostly from this exercise, just like going to the gym to work out, to pick up weights. When at the beginning, when you're starting to pick up weights and learning how to lift weights, you don't start with the most heavy weights. You start with the simplest and the lightest weight, which was the first thing that we did at the beginning of this video. We started with a huge pile of clothes and then we divided them. We did the first division. We put the trousers together, not caring whether they are shorts or they are sweatpants or they are jeans or they are khaki. We just put them together. We put the hangables together. We didn't care whether they were dresses. We just know they are hangables. We put them together. We put the jackets with the sweaters, with the, with the hoods, everything together. In our second pile, we went ahead and separated those things. We separated the sweatpants from the jeans, from the, from the shorts. We put them apart so that, again, we could come and deal with each item at once. It is important to give yourself space to get organized. It is important to give your mind time to get organized. Don't just try to do everything at once. Don't wake up in the morning and say today you'll resolve all your financial troubles. Today you'll resolve all the issues that you're facing. Is not humanly possible, right? So allow yourself, give yourself space, organize, keep them apart. Now, by organizing, I mean you have to have something that is called a brain dump. What you do with that brain dump is that you get somewhere and you put things aside. Put your tasks aside. What do you need to do? Maybe you need to pay your rent, you're late on your school fees, you need to buy items relating to school fees or items relating to running the house. So get somewhere and write them down and put them aside and then start start dealing with them one item at a go. Now here with me, I'm almost finishing the organization because now I have put things in piles and now I can now start to put them away depending on where they are. You can fold clothes and leave them like this. This is still disorganized. This is still, the work is still not complete. You still need to go and put things away. The thing about mental health is the ability to put things away. You can come all, you can walk all the journey. You can do all the work that it takes to have good mental health. Exercising, eating healthy, taking care of your spiritual life, having healthy conversations and having meaningful relationships with family members and those people that matter to you. But... If you do all those things and then you don't put things where they're supposed to be, you don't leave things to rest. Like, for example, if you get into a fight with someone and you discuss that fight and you come up with a resolution and you leave it at this stage. You've come up with a resolution, but you've not put it at the back of your mind. It's still running. Every time you think about this person, it comes up. Every time I think about picking a trousers, I have to go to where I've organized them on the bed where they're not supposed to be. Put things away. Right? Once you're finished with something, put it away and move on. Very important, very key part in mental health. The other thing that I'm going to say now as I come to the end of this video is that practice building new habits with your mental health. Practice being in tune with your mental health as in practice thinking. You know, what do I mean? Like sit down and know exactly what you're thinking about. Know exactly what are you dealing with. Don't allow your mind to be 
running around helter scatter all over the place you don't even know why you're moody you don't even know why you're upset you don't even know why you're feeling the way you're feeling one way to do that is to imply something that is called aroma therapy what i have here is a diffuser it has essential oils in it and it's diffusing that diffusion helps my mind to relax the essential oils that can help your mind to relax so allow yourself to relax apply things that help you with mental health other than just organizing your thoughts and organizing the situations and your responsibility and obligations that are waiting for you also apply aromatherapy that helps you to relax and to organize compartmentalize your thoughts put them away organize them and put them somewhere and everything let everything have its place if it's the jeans let them have their place if it's the khakis let them have their place if it's the sweatpants let them have their place like you can see beneath there if i need sweatpants i know where to go and just pull out a sweatpant so it is very very important that you allow your mind to process the thoughts that you have and then you have you have divided it into categories and just work on it like that right so let's come to the final of this video so with me here i have the final mess by the end of this coaching session your mind should be like this organized and put together you know what issues you're dealing with you know what's disturbing you you know what's taking away from you we are not looking at perfection we are just looking to understand what's happening in our thoughts what's stressing us what's occupying our minds what's overwhelming us and when we are able to put it into categories or into compartments like this, we are able to deal with each and every issue slowly. We can purpose to say, I'll deal with this today, I'll deal with this tomorrow, I'll work on this the other day. One last thing, and the most important thing I think of this whole practical exercise is this particular overflow right here. That overflow is very important. Allow yourself to have an overflow of thought. Allow yourself to have something that you have kept aside and you haven't done anything with it just have an overflow of something and it will work out very well finally people your mind is meant to generate ideas or come up with ideas not keep ideas so pile those ideas put them aside work on them create a mani manifest manifesto execute the plan execute the plan and then move on and come up with other ideas if something is not working for you for me what works for me in mental health is the ability to organize things to come from the chaos and put them together separate them into different piles and then work with one thing at a time if this doesn't work for you find something that actually works for you don't sit around feeling oh i need to work things out the way Nyoka, the coach said we should work it out, how coach Nyokabe said we should work it out. Find what works for you and stick with it. Tweak it to fit your needs. Tweak it to fit your thoughts. Tweak it to fit your lifestyle. Tweak it to fit your way of life. Every person is unique. And every mind is unique. And every thought process is unique to a particular individual. So allow yourself to learn which are your strengths, which are your abilities, what works very well for you, what doesn't work very well for you, and then major on that and focus on that and deal with that. My name is Nyokabi GK Kamau and I am your own personal relationship coach, practical, practical ways of coaching, practical ways of teaching and training and equipping us with the ability to have to live a better life. We are all about authentic conversations. We are all about building meaningful lives based on basic truths simple truths always remember to throw away when it comes to organizing you have to declutter declutter and organizing are like sim card and credit they go together you know they don't separate so throw away what you don't need look at your closet what do you wear what don't you wear what haven't you worn in a long time throw it away same case applies to your mind whatever you don't need anymore what you no longer need anymore let it go throw it away come to terms with it and just let it go those toxic friends that just keep making you feel some type of way honey yo yo let those guys go let them go start afresh do not be afraid to build new relationships do not be afraid to start over do not be afraid to cut ties with toxic people 
it doesn't matter who they are or what role they play in your life in order to have an organized mind you need to deal with the chaos you need to deal with the chaos yeah deal with the chaos and chaos is toxicity toxicity if you have a toxic relationship with alcohol if you have a toxic relationship with food if you have a toxic relationship with your health like you are those guys who just leave you don't take care of your health you don't mind about what you eat you don't mind about exercising you don't do anything really to help your body along <laughs> you just leave like that devwa <laughs> with no much thought into your life you know you don't even know why your stomach is bloated when you eat a particular thing because you don't pay attention it's kawaida for you yo deal with that toxicity and your life will be better and lastly before i go number 1 wake up and actually get out of bed make your bed open the curtains open the windows or if you're doing aromatherapy you can keep the windows closed and the curtain closed but mostly open the windows and open the doors take a shower whether you're going somewhere or you're not going somewhere it's part of good mental health take a damn shower and then wear something nice do a nice body splash oil your body perfume your body wear something if, even if it's sweat pants wear a clean set of sweat pants with a nice t-shirt and brush your teeth and you know uh take care of yourself and feel good sit down and have a beautiful breakfast a well thought through breakfast like you know what you're eating for breakfast sit down and eat your breakfast seated without a hurry without anything and enjoy your breakfast and then from there go to your to-do list of what you had planned to do this day and then execute and have a wonderful day remember to listen to music remember to listen to inspirational conversations inspirational truths inspirational talks inspirational music all kinds of inspirational just listen as you go on ahead and your mind will just relax it will trust me <laughs>